For us, training like the year before the Olympics would probably be about six hours a day. We'd go out and we'd start on the trampoline, do a lot of stretching, move over to the water ramp, the plastic ramp to go off into a pool, and we'd do that for maybe two, three hours. Then in the afternoon, we'd go into the gym for another hour, hour and a half. Then we do a lot of aerobic activities, say rollerblading, mountain biking, aerobic classes, things like that. My favorite part of skiing is actually when you get back out there in the beginning of the year and you know you're tired and you're thinking, you know, is this going to be fun again? You go up there and you take your first jump and it's the same with all of us. We turn to each other and say, this is why we do it. It's so fun. My favorite part of the Olympics was actually standing on the podium, having them place that medal around my neck and hearing the American anthem because I cry when other people go through this and when it was me up there, I couldn't help but shed some tears. And I think at the Olympics, my favorite part is being able to see all the kids that get excited about seeing the medal and that have inspirations of their own. Because I know when I was younger, I got to see some people's gold medal and it inspired me. So hopefully we'll get a lot more Americans out there winning medals. I try to tell a lot of kids that do any sport because it's fun. And anything is possible, so don't let anyone tell you otherwise because anything is within your grasp. So go out there and try it and remember that you're competing against yourself, no one else. Every year they make a new medal for every Olympics and a Japanese man made these and he made them all by hand. It is real gold they put in the medal and it's lacquer that they put in the background and gold dust that they put in the mountains. And this is a symbol that shows that aerials, this is my sport aerials and for a hockey player be a little hockey player and things like that. Mm -hmm.